So let's look at filtering the to-do items. So there's three filters we have, which is all active and completed. So we should keep track of the currently selected filter inside the variable selected filter and set the filter using a function set filter. So when the filter changes, we could have a computed property filter to do's, which would be responsible for filtering the to do's. So let me just quickly show you how that would look like. So we have here the state, the currently selected filter, and then we would have a computed value that's the filter to do's. And we're creating this so we can loop over these to do's instead of the regular to do's. Yeah, and then we can see down here, we're going to set the filter right here. And then here is the filter to do's function itself. It's just going to switch based on what the currently selected filter it is. So if it's all, we're just going to return the to do's. If the case is active, we're going to filter the to do's by not completed. And if the case is completed, we're going to return the completed to do's. And that's it. It's really not that complicated. Let's first add the types so we can use them. So if I control P, say to do where we kept the types, we can say export type filters type and we can just say all active or completed and that's it for the types yeah so we can go back here if we scroll in the example here we can import it here filters type also if you're curious or new to TypeScript, you might be wondering what is this type here? And this is really optional. If we removed it, the types would work the same, but to be explicit, we can say import type. So yeah, we have the filters type. So let's import the component we have to create. So it's filter to do's from filter to do svelte. And then let's add more state so we can have the selected filter, which would be of the filters type. And by default, it's all right. So let's go to the computed values. Let's add a new one. So we can say filtered to do's, which is going to invoke the function filter to do's whenever to do's change or the selected filter. Because remember, when you pass something here, Svelte is going to uh, keep watch of it and update the state. Legends say Rich Harris himself keeps watch over these values, but I'm not sure. Yeah, so we have filter to do, so let me just fix this. Filter to do, to select the filter. And if I scroll here, we can type even more. Awesome, right? This is how you imagined you're going to spend your time today. <laughs> uh, new filter, so you can say filters type it doesn't return anything so you can say this selected filter should be the new passed in filter and we're setting this up to be easier later for animations and this is a really nice way to do it in my opinion so the function filter to do is going to take the to do's and we already have the type so we say to do type but there's many of them so we say it's an array of to do's and then the filter type should be the filters type and it's really not that bad and of course it doesn't return anything, it's to the side. Oh, actually I'm wrong, it does return something. There you go, I don't even know my own examples. Damn. Exposed boys. Yeah, so we can just <laughs> return the to-do itself. And if I go here, we do the all switcheroo. Yeah, filter. So case all, we can return to-dos. Say case active return to do's filter to do where the to do isn't completed and we can say case completed return to do's filter to do where it's completed so if you're wondering uh, why aren't we using break here it's because we're returning anyhow so it's going to exit the function so yeah that's why you don't need a break in this case so if we go here, yeah, so here we loop over the to-dos, we can replace this with filter to-dos, ooh, fancy. Okay, so in this part, we're just going to cut out the filters and we can use our component filter to-dos. We're going to pass the selected filter and 
the function to set the filter, right? So we can save this and this is going to cause an error in our soil to do it, but that's fine. So we can go here and now we can add the component. So we can add a component that's called filter to do svelte and let's add a script tag language typescript and then we can import the type filters type from root types to do and you can also set a set filter type is going to accept a new filter string and it doesn't return anything. And this time I'm sure it doesn't return anything. <laughs> so let's say export let selected filter, filters type, export let set filter, set filter type. And it's complaining because, yeah, we're not using it yet. So we can plop our mark down here. And let's save it. And now let's grab the styles so now we can remove this because we don't need this comment and if we go here this is the last css we need in this project yeah so we can steal that now this component has its own styles as it should so let's see i'm just going to say style remove this awesome so let's scroll down here so instead of repeating the markup for each of these buttons and adding logic, we can just create an array and we can loop over it and do it that way. So each button is going to have a click event listener and a class selected directive so we can apply the selected class to the currently selected filter. So that's how that's going to work. So what I did here was I just created the filters, which is all active and completed. So we can, let's remove this, so we just need the div. So we can say each filters is filter. Let's close the each. And then for this button, it's going to have value filter. And then for the attributes, we can say on click. It should do what? Set a filter. To the filter right and then we can say class selected should apply when the selected filter is equal to filter and we're going to give it a class filter so i think this is it so let's go back here i think i saw an error here so it's saying filter to do's let's see why is it complaining huh probably probably goofed it up so I can say filter to do's right and that's what we're passing in yeah so this should work so if we go here and let's just refresh for good measure and let's complete more items so by default we're seeing the styles are working so we can see all and it's showing all the to do's so if we say active awesome and then if we say complete it's going to show the complete and we see the styles are in place so great job